The next unplugged lesson in course two is called Conditionals with Cards. Uh, we just call it Conditionals. It is, it's a lot of fun. It's a good time. I've seen people play this for all different reasons. People take it camping, people play it in school, people play it just when they're bored. You can play it by yourself, you can play it with other people. There's just so many variations on this. Essentially what you do is you come up with a program with your class and this program contains conditionals. So there's if statements. If my card is red, I get a point. Else the other team gets a point. So this is a really good way to learn about if and else and even nested ifs and else's and that will help for the, the online puzzles that are coming up. You can do this with things other than cards too. You can use dice, uh, you can play a version of it out on the playground. That is, if you have blue shoes, take a step forward. I, this game should sound familiar to lots of people, but just putting that word conditionals on it really helps understand what we're doing when we're programming using if statements.